I would like to uh, briefly uh, uh, talk about our uh, conversion study. So this uh, study has been designed in the patient with uh, stage four uh, colorectal cancer. If they on uh, if they have uh, liver only uh, metastasis, uh, as you know that. Uh, uh, metastasectomy in the colorectal has been associated with uh, improvement in uh, survival and uh, about uh, 30 to 40 percent patient uh, we can cure uh, with resection of metastasis. Uh, but unfortunately, only uh, 10 to 20 uh, percent patient uh, at the time of diagnosis with the stage four colorectal cancer are candidate for metastasectomy. However, what we have learned that uh, uh, approximately additional 10 to 20% uh, patient, uh, if we treat them aggressively, they can convert from uh, unresectable disease to potentially resectable disease uh, and uh, able to go metastasectomy. So we did have uh, our uh, observational study uh, in the, our institution, Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, we uh, treated uh, patient who uh, had unresectable uh, disease uh, with combination chemotherapy, 5-FU, uh, inotecan, oxaliplatin, falfixiri, uh, in combination with uh, bevacizumab. And we uh, noted a very high response rate uh, that was reported in phase C trial. And uh, almost uh, close to 50% patient uh, who potentially unresectable, uh, were able to undergo surgery. However, uh, some of those patients had extra uh, hepatic disease and when they achieved complete uh, radiographic response, uh, they underwent for surgery. So many of them unfortunately recurred, but uh, that was the uh, base for this uh, conversion trial that uh, we planned. Uh, this is a phase two to study, and the purpose is uh, to see the prospectively the rate of uh, conversion in the patient uh, who have unresectable disease uh, and uh, looking at a specific biomarkers. So in our observation, we found that uh, with the early PET scan response was strongly correlated with the resectability. So we plan to incorporate that uh, uh, PET scan response uh, along with uh, some other uh, potential exploratory biomarker, as well as also to look at the quality of life of this patient, knowing that uh, in our own uh, uh, cohort study, a uh, high number of patients uh, had grade three toxicity requiring interruption in treatment and almost uh, one third of patients uh, require hospital admission. So I think this uh, study will be helpful. Uh, there is no standard uh, conversion to, uh, uh, therapy, uh, but this study will be helpful to identify a potential biomarker uh, to guide us uh, who uh, gets benefit from more aggressive uh, treatment.